Exclusive YouTube giveaways. That is so creepy, bro. Hello. Whoa. What's up guys? Welcome back to another crazy adventure here, 24-7 Exotics. Today, we're just outside Port Moody in an abandoned town, the historical town of Oko, which is Imperial Oil Company. So essentially this entire town was built off that Imperial Oil plant with the McLaren bringing you a little bit of that brand new look to an historical setting, you guys. Look at this orange just popping out here. What a cool place. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take you guys inside these buildings. I think there's tours set up. I'm not 100% certain, but the fines start at $50,000 with two years imprisonment. So I'm not about to do that. Neither is Mr. Peter. We've got a long road trip for you guys. Today, we're exploring abandoned towns and historical buildings, but we do have something special, probably the scariest or most haunted place around this part of the world. Guys, we're taking you on a trip to the Riverview Mental Hospital. Wow, the Riverview Mental Hospital, you guys. Look at this place. This is insane. I wish, I wish I could get you guys inside there right now. You Mr. Said, Peter. You said this was insane? Yeah. Asylum. Oh my God. This is an absolute iconic place. Epic, if you will, sitting on the Coquitlam River. This is a place to relax, a place for the patients to come and only focus on healing. However, the lawsuits, the insane amount of hidden stories in this building is unjust. Guys, we're here to hide cash for you guys. Stick around. This is exclusive YouTube giveaways. We got cash. We're gonna find a spot to hide it. And if you're watching this video, make sure you get out here and grab that cash. All right, Peter, let's get the drone down. Let's go exploring. I wanna have a look. I know you just had a bird's eye view of the entire place, but I need boots on the ground and we gotta see, is there a way in here, you guys? Can we get you inside this building today? The first place I'm gonna check is right up here. Is there a way inside? Let's go have a quick look. Peter's gonna put away the drone. Windows open which is always inviting now, is the door open? Ooh, that was promising. What's going on here, you guys? There's a bolt inside. Somebody melted a hole here. That is original glass still in behind, so that means there's protection glass over the original glass, probably because it was broken into so many times. This is so cool, you guys. No public access. But if the door was open, I thought I'd just check. I don't know. You can't not check the door. How creepy is the tree? We're here at dusk. We need to find a way in for everybody. We have to show you the inside of the infamous, most haunted place in British Columbia, allegedly. It's definitely made number one on a few top 10 lists that we've seen. Just looking at this building, all the bars on the windows, its age, just its history, I would believe it. Here, let's go up and have a look before it gets too dark here, you guys. The building is alarmed, so if it's alarmed, that means don't break in. The handle doesn't work. That door's not gonna work for us. Guys, inside one of the most haunted places in British Columbia. This is crazy, you guys. No pun intended. Look at this, you guys. Like, the venting and the ductwork that used to come out of this glass block window. There's windows open. It's semi-inviting, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the ghosts would do that, definitely. They'd be like, come on in. Come in, we need fresh bodies to, you know, 
haunt. Let's get the first hundred going right now as we find our way over into this corner. We've got $100 Canadian and we've got our first look through the cobwebs. I hope the camera captures the cobwebs. No disrespect to any spirit that may be present. We are simply curious but we come with no harm as we walk around this place. You're curious, you say. And what they say, what's that saying? Curiosity killed the YouTuber? <sighs> or something? something? I think like it was a cat, bro. Oh, right. And I'm a... <laughs> and I'm a lion, but a lion's a cat? Shit! Yeah. <laughs> no! Guys, honestly, no disrespect. I'm super curious and I hate the fact that people were tortured and the, the legacy goes on to say that a group of women, mostly women, did end up starting a lawsuit with this place, fought the government for their right and whatever that they, they deserve. I mean, there's no money that could ever repay the torture. I'm, we're talking electric shock therapy. There was hydrotherapy. These women and men went through a lot. Ooh. That door opens up. Kind of. A hundred dollars. We're gonna get you over here. If you do it right, you're gonna be the winner of one hundred dollars. We're gonna try and stick it in the keyhole here of this little service door of some sort or a utility door. It's a loading dock area, so who knows? So I think I'm happy with that. Boom. A hundred dollars right there for you guys. That's the first of many here at this wonderful at, at this, this wonderful torture place no disrespect you guys don't hate we are curious this place is amazing if there was just an open door that you would walk in because this is abandoned to us we know nothing if if there was just a wide open door i would clearly go in i will not break glass i will not bust anything open it's interesting that you have the main structure here now there's this substructure over here completely isolated Maybe a place where the workers or the head honchos would, would have resided during all this. I would think, yeah, this is probably the head office, doctors, nurses, probably residency here too, I would imagine. Right. Have a look at this place. Let's see if we can get up and close and have a peek inside. This one appears to just be wide open, almost like a hall setting. Who knows what went on here, you guys? I'll have you know that places like this, even older looking, in Poland are still fully functioning hospitals. I've been in them. Like my mom broke her foot on a trip to Poland one year and we had to take her there. It was just like the creepiest looking thing. You feel like you're in like a, you know, like, like a war morgue in World War I type thing. You're just walking around like these like ancient corridors. It feels creepy as hell. And like there's moments too where there's like no nurses or doctors anywhere and you just like there's patients and you're just wandering the halls and you're in like some sub sub basement yeah. <laughs> like yeah like five floors down is like where they had the x-ray machines and stuff walking around down there was very creepy i can imagine that being in this place would feel very similar so i found another door i backed us down here because i saw this another corridor this might have been an emergency loading zone as it kind of looks like it dips in and off of the main drag up here. Bro, what do you think is down in crawl space zone K4? Considering what they've done to people here and the alleged history of this place, guys, this. that is no place for anybody to be. But look at this. So if we're here, first floor, and they don't call this a basement. That's just the tunnel which actually leads, look, there's a sub tunnel to this place, to the second building. Oh, it's the kitchen. It's the kitchen block. That's what that is. Holy man, this is wild, you guys. The amount of torture that took place in here is just unbelievable. If you want to say things for real, it's just nonsense to think that that was just the way of life and what we thought we had to accept we do have an original retaining wall right here and another way down to a creepier setting. So this one, this is where they would bring the patients down and then just entry doors and in you'd go to the, uh, the asylum and off you'd go to your ward and never be spoken to again. I'm just making that up. Look at this little door. Hello. 
here we go another opening you guys if you haven't learned by now we are harmless we are just curious we don't agree with what happened to you and if more people understood the story maybe things like this wouldn't even exist peter's taking us up around here to the back side so according to that map we saw over there the tunnel diagram extended past the building so i'm just curious if there's like over here on the retaining wall if there's like some sort of exit door an exit door or some kind of venting pipe for a breathe hole to suggest a lower space yeah like so right in back here right let's see look at this you guys this is super creepy you guys what the guys no way what is going on here you guys what in the actual hell is this you guys have a look at this creepy retaining wall hedge system like with this pathway look at this you guys here you go peter another point foundation point right here or are these breathing stacks or something like, like you said holy have a look at this you guys what is going on with this place look at this how many people are trapped in here is this some kind of graveyard? <laughs> no way. Bro. What? This could yeah, be a... Like these, uh, lights turning off by itself. You guys, the light just... our light just went off. Full battery, 95%. The light just went off the moment. Like, what is this, bro? What is going on with this? Oh, man. This is Whoa. Like, what the fuck was that, bro? Right. We're getting the fuck out of here. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Okay. There's no holes on me, you guys. That was insane. Wow. And it's like, the darker it gets, the creepier it gets. Like, it's like someone is, someone's dimming a switch of light and increasing a switch of creep. What? is this Howard Wilcroft Wilcox Richard Richards Wilcox sign that door that is so creepy bro this section is all plywooded off this one's got plexiglass it's interesting to see the condition of this place meanwhile we've got another hundred dollars for another brave soul to come and explore a little bit of lost history if you will but have a look at how creepy that is. This was supposed to be a place to relax and completely unwind yeah. and get rid of your illness in such a fashion that was unspeakable at the time that this went down. And it turned into this. I mean, there's still power on this old place. So I know you can get inside this place. We have to speak to the owner or something and try to get a tour. So I'm thinking, Next hundred, hide it back here. Here you go, Peter, hundred bucks. Sweet. A lucky Sweet. viewer, yeah, this is for Peter apparently. This is for a lucky viewer that is brave enough to come to this corner, reach behind that portion of the rough buck opening. Where did it go? Right there, you guys, a hundred dollars richer. All you gotta do is get to that spot first. Oh, thank God, Woo. I have never been so relieved to see the BRZ and the McLaren, you guys, I'm honestly kind of shaken up a little bit. This place has been an absolute adventure. Another window open. Let's go have a look here, you guys. An inside look at maybe a patient room. A bathroom. A bathroom. Sinks and stuff over there. I do see another hole. This one has a, a metal cage around it and plywood in behind it they do not want you to see inside there what goes on in that room wow you guys okay so i have to say i am super thankful to be back here standing by the cars what an adventure what a place to visit you guys honestly this place gives me the heebie-jeebies personally i am very glad that all the doors are locked here and we couldn't get inside to show you you know i would have gone in and it would have been ridiculous 
inside there. This stuff absolutely does it for me. Thanks again for watching today's video. You got to see our scouting locations at the very least and make a few hundred dollars while watching. Thanks for joining in guys. Don't forget to go down and smash that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up you guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know where do we go next? What do we do? Where do we go Peter from here? That way. We're, guys we're out. We're going that way. Have a good night.